morning little scholars it's a beautiful day it's tuesday and i am super excited to tell you what we are going to be revising on for our year so we are going to focus on seasons the solar system inside earth crystals rocks and minerals moving plates mountains and tsunamis so hope you guys enjoy this revision exercise okay it spins as it orbits the sun however it does not spin in an upright position but on its axis tilted it is this tilt that causes seasons over a year different parts of the earth will be more closer or further away from the sun and we will receive the sunlight giving rise to summers winters and wet and dry seasons in, in the tropics so what happens in june is that the earth's northern half faces the sun it enjoys long warm summer days when the sun rises high in the sky so what happens in june is that the north and the south are heated equally so none of the two receives more or less sunlight okay they are heated equally <laughs> The solar system is made up of the sun and all the smaller objects that move around it. Apart, apart from the sun, there are many other planets. There are about eight planets. Nearest to the sun are the four fairly small rocky planets called Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. On the end, and on the far end of the asteroid belt are four giant gas gases which we call Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. These planets are much bigger than the Earth, but they are very light weighted for their size and they are mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Inside Earth, the Earth's inner core is a huge metal ball, white and made mainly of iron. As Earth cooled, most of it turned to solid rock. It formed layers with the heaviest material at the center, which we call the core, surrounded by a deep rocky mantle and a thin brittle crust. Nuclear re reactions inside the planet make rocks much hotter than their normal melting point, but intense pressure keeps the rock solid except for the outer core, which is liquid. So the four main um, parts of the Earth, we've got the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. there are crystals all over around us most rocks are made of them and most sandy beaches are made of billions of broken parts of crystals even sugar and salt in our kitchen are crystals some of the most spectacular are the mineral crystals that grow in underground cavities sometimes reaching enormous sizes okay rocks and minerals all rocks are a mixture of different minerals why do we say that if we look at the igneous rock and granite they are visibly made up of different types of rocks okay and there are three main groups of rocks these are the sedimentary rocks igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks you can see how each of them is formed in the rock cycle which will be discussed later 
Some rocks are very rare and pretty and we call these the gemstones and they are used to make jewelry. And we've got another most famous gemstone which we call the diamond which is the hardest mineral in the world. Moving plates. The basic idea behind plate tectonics is that they are constantly moving around. Beneath the surface of the earth, heat rises from the core, which is the inner core, which is the center, which is at the center of the earth, through mantle rock, which is the next layer. Then it reaches the crust. It comes up slowly, very slowly, but it usually moves at the mantle. The mantle rises beneath the earth's crust before it spreads sideways and then it cools again. This is a very slow but constant movement that has broken the little sphere which, is, which includes the crust and the upper mantle in loads of places which then divides the earth crust into the tectonic plates. There are major tectonic plates that move that can cause tsunamis, volcanoes and earthquakes. Hence, remember I've explained when the plates move apart then what rises? It moves up through the mantle rock and it forms what? A mountain. When tectonic plates smash together below the ground, its crust is made up of multiple tectonic plates. Mountains are built by the same forces that cause earthquakes, colliding plates, tremble continental crust into ranges of bold mountains. When crust is pulled apart, some pieces slip downwards, leaving high walls of rock on each side, which is called the mountains. Hurricanes form from a large rotating storm. Hurricanes are the most violent storms on earth. People call these by names such as, as typhoons or cyclones depending on where they occur. Only tropical cyclones that occur okay over the Atlantic Ocean are called hurricanes. But not least tsunamis. The word tsunami or harbor wave which comes from the Japanese word tsu which means harbor and nami which means wave. A tsunami is usually a huge amount of ocean wave which gets stronger as they move along. It is caused by pressure in the atmosphere and is mostly likely to occur in the coastal regions. That's all, folks.